This is Lisa Teichner. I'm here uh, for MauiNow.com with Chris Akang. And we're talking about Chris uh, working his way up the fight ladder here on Maui and hopefully nationally and internationally eventually. So, um, Chris, tell us how and why you began training. How did that happen? Um, for you? I started training because of my son, Trey. Um, one day he just came up to me and just told me that, you know, he wanted to train seriously. So um, I went to the gym and um, Jeff McKee, our uh, local boxing, asked, you know, just said, told me if I want to jump in. And, and then I've been training ever since. How long day. ago was that? It was about, uh, I would say, almost a year and a half ago. Okay. At so peak. It's, it's been a little while. Yeah. Um, so I'd like for you to talk a little bit about, I know we've talked about this before off camera, but what do you find are some of the most difficult challenges for you that are related to your training? Because there are a lot of guys out there doing what you're right, doing right. and you're not talking to each other necessarily. So can you tell us what are some of the challenges that you're facing? Um, for me, it's uh, mentally uh, getting my mindset right. Um, the training is pretty easy, but when it, you know, Mentally waking up in the mornings, getting to practice, training at a couple hours, putting time in. Um, that's where I, I kind of, you know, get strenuous and just mentally. So what do you do then to keep yourself motivated? Uh, just tell myself, you know, I got to get there. If I want to, you know, reach the top, you know, start fighting professionally, get a belt. Um, I need to just get up and just work. Because somebody else is doing yeah, it, right? Yeah, somebody's, somebody's, you know, while I'm sleeping, somebody's training. Okay, cool. And um, what type of training are you doing or have you been doing? Um, right now, I'm more focused on uh, Muay Thai with um, Shane Hoyt and also um, Brazilian Freestyle Jiu-Jitsu with um, Ermin Fergusham at Maui Martial Arts. Okay, so Muay Thai and Jiu-Jitsu yeah. mostly. Um, do you feel that that's a good combination for an MMA fighter? Oh yeah, definitely because you know it works with the clinch. You have the clinch game, also the, the legs, the elbows, the knees. And then when we go to the ground, I got my submissions and yeah. Okay, and are there certain, are there any areas that you would like to be able to improve in? Uh, mostly just my stand-up game right now and also my jiu-jitsu. Pretty much that too is, the, is what I want to, you know, perfect. Actually. So, and how long, I mean, it's kind of a trick question, but how long do you think that that takes or will take for uh, you? To me, it's, you know, unlimited, you know, there's always something new out there, you know, uh, MMA has been evolving for the last, you know, 10, 15 years, and, you know, a lot of stuff are just changing now, it's, it's yeah, you got to keep up with them. You got to keep up. Yeah. So, what do you think makes a good fighter, other than maybe that combination of training, but in general, what do you feel makes a good fighter? Oh, uh, I don't know if you can say it on camera, but cojones <laughs> makes a good fighter, you know. Uh, step into the cage, you know, and you know you're gonna you're gonna get a fight. Mm -hmm. You know, get into that cage, and you don't know if you're gonna get hurt or not. You know, I think that's that's where it's at right there. And, think, so. and the motivation. I mean, you mentioned being able to continue to push yeah. yourself and yeah, do that. Exactly. So I think uh, because we have some things going on economically here, and I know a lot of people have difficulties keeping up with their training, it's very important in their life, and you have to prioritize, how are you able to continue to support yourself and your training? Well, I've just been blessed um, by work, you know, um, working at Trust Systems Hawaii, even though we've, we've been slow, they've um, given us 40 hours a week, so, you know, I have money to still pay my training and stuff, and also... Some what sponsors. what are maybe some of the things? Is there anything that you feel that you're kind of sacrificing, or you're saying, "Well, this isn't as important in my life, and I'm not going to put money here. I'm going to put it here." Oh yeah, definitely uh, food. <laughs> you're not eating. Yeah. Well, know, that's just because you're trying to cut weight. Yeah, that cutting count. weight, so, no. <laughs> so food is on the side. You're eating, but but we'll talk a little bit about your diet because we've had that conversation right, too. Right, right. So tell me what, I mean, there's some challenges there you've mentioned. Oh, definitely. If, if you're a heavy, I'm from, you know, Hawaii, born and raised, and, you know, we like to eat. You know, I'm a big boy before, so I like to eat, drink before, but, um, yeah, just been really concentrating on eating, you know, the right foods, uh, a lot of fiber, water, you, you know. And stuff like that. Yeah, you talked about yeah, going to things. parties or your friend's wedding yeah, and just watching everybody eat exactly. and you're sitting there with your salad. I, and then I end up sampling <laughs> some and I got to run an extra three, four miles to burn that. But that's and, important to mention because that is part of what it takes too. That's part too. of training, yes. Um, now you talked about Trey a little bit, your son, and 
you talked to me previously that it's really important for you to set a good example for him. So can you just elaborate on that a little bit more? Well, when he when he asked, you know, that he wanted to fight and stuff, and he'd been telling me that he wants to go in a cage, um, I just took the step of going before him. At least he can see that his dad has, you know, my dad went into the cage and, you know, he fought. So, you know, I, I can kind of encourage him, you know, that it's good. I can help him in his workouts. And also we work all together and, mm -hmm. you know, give him some confidence, you know, so that, that's a nice thing too yeah. to be able to do as a family. Exactly. Um, now what events, can you tell us just a little bit about what, what you have done as far as fighting, what events you fought in and maybe where you'd like to go? Well, um, my first fight, I fought Destiny in uh, White Powell, um, won that by decision. And then um, I fought one at our other gym, I used to train at Elite. So I fought main event against this guy from Wahoo and um, choked him on in the first round. Um, right now I'm thinking, looking forward to doing like maybe like X1 or you know some other big show or something. Just get my feet wet a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Good, great. And uh, and after that, I mean, you look at the um, go to sky's the limit. You know, sky's the limit. Okay. Um, any advice or anything else that you'd like to say? Anything um, for someone that would like to fight MMA? Um, if you want to fight MMA, I mean, you gotta. There's a lot of sacrifice, a lot of commitment, uh, especially, and um, you just got to be prepared to do whatever it takes. You know, your coach is going to push you, and you just got to say, yeah, you know, I'll do whatever you got to do. That's, that's me right there. Do whatever you got to do. All right. Well, thank you so much, Chris. You're welcome. Thank and you, And thanks for tuning in to MauiNow.com.